Oh, oh, I'm Mog, and I do speak English, so I will be translating today. Hable español. Unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish, so this might be a little difficult. Oh. Yeah, let's make sure there's no players uh, in. I don't want any cheating. This is a fair fight. Uh, no war picks here. I think we're okay. Okay, good. All right. Looks like we're just waiting on the players here. Uh, by players, we mean retard. So no worries. We have a pretty standard map coming up. We're on uh, Twilight Ruins, an eight-player map. And we have four players playing. Looks like Mage died or something. Wait, what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> you were silent for a while. <laughs> no, I was like, wait, did the game start or something? What the hell? No. <laughs> All right. Looks like we're about to get the show on the road. GC is here, right? Um, I think he's here. Yes, he is. We're going to find out. All right, everybody. This is Mage. And this is Mog. And today we are shoutcasting just a custom game, but we've got a bunch of FML players and former FML players. Um... Brown is sexy, also goes by Fuck You and Surround King. Green would be Red Kiki, he's a night elf, although he tries to play human sometimes. Yellow is GZ, who has not actually played in FML before, however he plays on the bot a lot and is a pretty good player. And our last player is also one of the FML admins, that would be Ugr Ugrlanian, but we'll go by Ugri because I'm not French and I can't pronounce it. And I can't either, in fact I call him Ugrlanian, so... <laughs> uh, <laughs> who knows who's fair, right you may be right I may be right and most likely we're both wrong that is probably correct he does so look by, like he has the best starting position here if you want to go over those yep absolutely so sexy and actually we're going to call him fuck you because I feel really weird calling a Warcraft player sexy I think we should so, go by sexy because saying fuck you sounds very inappropriate on the stream I'm hoping you wouldn't notice <laughs> All right, so we I got Sexy here at the 10.30-ish spawn, and then we've got Red Kiki around 11.30. Those two are probably the best micro players, and it'll be interesting to see what happens between the two of them. If one can get a good jump on the other and get some high-level heroes, they'll most likely just dominate for the rest of the game. Um, over around the 3 o'clock spawn, we have GZ the Night Elf. Um... I believe he usually plays more of a macro style game and will probably try and take a lot of expos, but I don't know for sure. And Yugri will probably pull some random shit out of his ass. Um, he really likes to get banshees and steal other races. He's been known to pull off a beastmaster as undead, and you really just can never... He's not talking to Ob's Yugri. Um, no, he's not. You can never tell what he's doing. No, and as I was saying earlier, I mentioned, it looks like Ugri is in the best position he could hope for. He has no one next to him. Uh, he's got the whole left side of the map that he can go to, whereas RKK, in my opinion, is in the worst, where he could try to go right, but he's going to eventually run into GZ. So we're going to have to see. He's gonna, it's going to be up to him to pull something here, whether he wants to break out one way or the other. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Um, if we look over here, we can see that Red Kiki is going for his Tree of Life open. Um, this is something you won't see too many Night Elf players do, but he's a big fan of it. It actually led to him losing in three minutes one game. Um, but when it works, it works, and that'll get him an early expo advantage, and he'll need the gold in order to keep up with Sexy. Um, you can see down here... GZ has already started creeping this. He's got his Dark Ranger. Um, pretty standard build and open for this map. Level 5 silent, or level 3 silence at level 5 is obviously extremely strong. Um, yes, and if he can I get would... that expo up there early, then he'll be in good shape as well. 
And interestingly enough, we have Sexy with the Paladin first, which we don't see very often. So we're going to see what he has in store for us here. And I have no problem calling him Sexy build. because he is quite sexy. So the I'm name fits. Persuade you cheating on him. You know, he already knows. And he hacks, so. Fair enough. I don't care. Yeah. Um, and as you. Go you go, sorry. <laughs> oh, as we see here, Jeezy is taking his expansion at the natural. And that's going to bode well for him. I think so far, he looks like he is the best creeping. And that makes sense with the Dark Ranger. It's pretty easy to creep this map. It is, and he looks like he's actually going for a second expo currently as well. Um, so if he could get both of those up, and then honestly he'll probably just sit at 50 for a while. There's not a whole lot else that needs to be done. Um, Sexy is starting to creep his expo as well. He's got the militia out. He'll have his up in a moment. And Red Kiki has his expo walking towards it currently, which you can't say about anybody else. So there you go. That is correct, and you'll notice that RKK also has the Dark Ranger. This is pretty standard play for Night Elves in general. The Dark Ranger is a very good hero to have. With its Once it hits level 6, Charm is, in my opinion, one of the best spells in the entire game. And we'll see yes, if we have any of that too. later in this game. And both GZ and RKK will most likely pick up a panda second because they're both going to need that um we can see here that oh, it looks like rkk is he's going to try and steal that shredder i bet let's see if yeah can get it, it looks like it and nope oh, sexy, oh, sexy gets got it. it all right and i don't know if you noticed this but sexy went devotion aura hmm. i don't know the last time that i've seen this anywhere yeah, especially with rifles, that seems just a little bit odd. Um, it'll be interesting to see what he picks for his second hero, because he was talking about making it an interesting game, so we'll see if he follows through on that. Down here, uh, Yugri has finally managed to get his expansion going. He's behind everybody else, but as undead, it's hard unless you go for a ghoul creep in to get on that. He's already got level 3, though, so he's in pretty good shape. Uh... Let's see, it looks like Jeezy has creeped his Goblin Lab shop, and he has his Shredder, so yes, that's really a great start for him. Um, he does have his second expansion expos. going, yeah. Yep, uh, and the Shredder, that's going to put him in a great place. Um, let's see what it happens like when Uber Uber runs into check. it, though. Yeah. All right. Oh, he just runs away. Yeah, I'm not sure why Yugri went back there. He could easily take Archers with the level 3 Death Knight and... Fiends, but I guess he feels like he'll get a better advantage by creeping and hopefully pick up his Goblin Shredder. Um, goblin Shredders on a map like this are pretty integral to every game plan. Um, it's just so much easier to gain wood quicker early on with that. And once they hit around 3,000 wood late game, you'll probably see him kill it off because it does take four food. Yes, and we'll notice that all four of the players now do have their Goblin Shredder. So there shouldn't be much many problems with uh, lumber supply this game. Did uh, RKK get his? I didn't see that. He, he did. It's uh, oh, okay, at the natural. At expansion. And it looks okay, like sec Sexy is about to get his second expo up. And you were correct with RKK taking the panda second, as well as GZ. Another standard play here. You wouldn't really expect to see anything else. No, the third hero will be what's interesting. Um, Keeper of the Grove could be important because the elf will have nothing else to interrupt. Um, so an ultimate from the Lich, like Death and Decay, unless the elf went a few dots in order to cyclone it, it would be hard to pin down. And in addition, there's no way to stun as Night Elf without the Keeper of the Grove. And... With human and undead heroes that can be healed instantaneously, you really need those three or four seconds in order to focus them down with chims. So Keeper of the Grove would be my bet. However, Priestess of the Moon would be a good choice as well. Um, yeah, I am more of a fan. I am more of a fan of the Priestess of the Moon just because on a map like this, there's so many gold mines. It's such a large map. Scouting is very important. And the Keeper of the Grove, 
it can be useful, but with good control, it can also be negated. And you have silence with the Dark Ranger, so you can usually use that to your advantage to stop uh, channeling spells, such as Death and Decay. Yep, that's certainly true. Um, and another interesting pick would be an Alchemist third. Um, it's certainly not common, but it's not uncommon either. And if you can combine Charm with Transmute, it makes for a terrifying late game. Yes, um, you're speaking my language now. I, I love to use the Alchemist third whenever I can. <laughs> yep, I absolutely agree. But you do lose a lot of advantages that you would get with the other heroes. Um, I thought you were just going to stop there. You do lose a lot. And I was going to agree with you. <laughs> well, that might just be a smog. Um, <laughs> that is true. Players like Renaud have done Panda, Alchemist, and then Potom or Keeper of the Grove to create effect. I think that you do have to be prepared to be teamed if you have both the Dark Ranger and the Alchemist, because it's very easy to manip against that. Yes. I would have to agree. And let's just look at the state of the game right now. We have... RKK sitting at under 50, it's not really much of a surprise there, all the players are, and he has his first exp expansion up, he looks like he's about to take a second, and he is over 1000 minerals, which is good for this point of the game. <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching too much StarCraft. You really uh, Gold, yes. Sorry about that. Interestingly <laughs> though, he's going Druids of the Claw. Um, you don't see bears very often, especially on a big map like this, that indicates to me that he might th be thinking about hitting sexy early on. Um, I think that he In may fact, be going he did for... just break what? 50. So, he did yeah. break 50. And so it looks like... Interesting. Yeah, I definitely see him breaking onto sexy with this. And he's getting a Priest of the Moon third there. And Jeez, sexy's picked up a panda second as well. Oh, sure so. enough. Rifles, Panda, Paladin. He might have trouble go. holding a rush. He does have a lot of min uh, I almost said minerals again. He does have a lot of gold in the bank. Yep. But looking at his not base, he does not have any towers. Um, or uh, production facilities. Which is very such uncommon. As He's putting up another barracks, so he might be going for a caster rifle army. Yeah, that's um, what it looks like right now. But he's also being hit by Yugri currently, so I'm not sure if that was just a little payback for the Lost Fiend. Um, however, it does not look like Sexy is going to take it lying down. Although, as I say, that he turns back towards the base. So we'll see on that front. Yeah, they're right. both sitting under 50 and recognize it. I think they both realize it'd be more efficient to creep right now than try to fight a small battle, where really you're probably not going to kill much anyways. Yep, absolutely. Um, and looking down at our other player, who we have not talked about very often, he's picked up a Priestess of the Moon as well, and he's currently creeping another expansion, and it's going to put up his third. He's sitting at 48, so it'll be interesting to see. He'll probably kill off a few archers in order to not break 50. Um, but he's got 4-3, which is not by levels by any means. And he's still got a few creeps around him that he could probably get that Dark Ranger up to 5 if he wants to. Yeah, I have to agree. He is, I would say he's in a great position right now with a lot of gold in the bank, uncontested expansions. He looks like he could even take the, oh, here I go with the clock again, <laughs> the uh, main expansion south of his base. Yep, um, I suspect he will. Sexy has picked up an alchemist as his third hero, which I was going to say earlier, but then I thought that he would probably go with an MK for the stun. However, the alchemist actually complements his army very well, especially with the devotion armor. Uh, devotion aura that probably explains that now. Um, Hold RKK that thought, we got a fight on him. And Sexy does TP, but his army is very small right now. He is he's in some danger. He's up to 77. Um, so he's it's just rifles don't now. look very scary against mass bears. Absolutely. Um, but with inner fire on them, they're at plus 8 armor. Uh, so they've got 3-0. However, they've got plenty of extra armor and are definitely going to be a lot less squishy than they normally would be. However, I'm suspecting he was not counting on a bunch of Druids of the Claw to come into his base. No, it looks like he was preparing for a, a Chimera rush, which obviously yeah, is not happening. And that's standard for Elf. However, it does go to show that you still need to scout. Looking at this battle, RKK is microing very well. I think Sexy is in a very dangerous I spot agree. right now. That 
Uh, the panda has two reincarnations on it, though, so that could be interesting. And the Paladin, however, needs one of those, it looks like. He no. really does, and I wonder if RKK realizes that the panda, the Paladin Oh, there goes the Alchemist! Alchemist no down! De yep. Um, has Devotion Aura instead of Divine. And looks like the panda's going to go down. Yep, I definitely don't think he looked at the panda's items because he should be focusing no. that paladin if possible. Yes, he should be. And interestingly enough, Sexy has actually fended this off pretty well. Um, RKK lost... He's down oh, wow. under 50 again. Yeah, he lost 30-something food. Um, Sexy lost a good amount as well. However, he's already rebuilding it, and a counter push here could be interesting. Yes, and looking at the goal count, Sexy, even after losing that match, he still is ahead of RKK yeah, by a good amount RKK of gold. RKK is not staying under 50. He's going right back at it. Um, so when you add in 3-3 three, three for armor, this could be very interesting to see what the rifles look like. Um, Inner Fire is definitely a very strong spell that is way underrated. Yes, it's a great spell. And RKK looks like... He does have a good amount of dryads, so he can dispel. That's I true. wasn't it, watching how, how much uh, the spell he was using, though. I think he might have it on manual, or just the fact that the priests have so much more mana to begin with than the dryads, because inner fire was on most of the rifles for most of the fight. Um, right. So I'm not sure why that was, but it would probably benefit RKK to bring a couple of wisps, actually. All right, let's take a look at other players here. It looks like Ugri is breaking. He's up to 70, uh, 70 food, and I'm guessing he's going to go on to GZ. I think you're probably correct. Um, Judging from the shade. Top, though, Sexy and RKK are fighting again. Um, that panda is definitely hurting the rifles. That's pretty much my analysis right now. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is a fight RKK can win. He's... He's honestly he's getting hammered right now, and yep. I really think he needs to back up to his base with the uh, moon wells. I would agree. Although that paladin honestly, is paladin's getting yeah. focused here. Let's see if he can take it down. Paladin should be able to TP it. Yep. I think that RKK should have just backed his units. He could have stayed in with just the dark ranger and panda and done some damage. However, now he's really fed sexy. Sexy has a five paladin, four panda. And I guess Alchemist is still one, yep. But letting that panda get to level 5 is not going to be helpful for RKK. No, once that panda hits 5, he's going to be in some trouble. I don't think Sexy's yep. going to back down here. No, nope. looking back here, uh, GZ, oh, GZ is broken as well. He's at 80. Um, Yugri is killing off some of his ghouls because he doesn't need them. So it looks like they've begun to battle. And... Uh, Interestingly, GZ has not put up another expansion here, which I'd expected him to, but he's sitting on four mines currently and 4,000 yeah. gold, so he's in good shape. Yugri has I, three mines, but only 1,200 gold. You know, Ugri is an expansion behind um, Sexy and GZ here, and so is RKK. They're both a gold mine short, and this is going to really hurt them the longer this game goes. Absolutely, um, especially because undead, you really do need that gold advantage, um, at least early game, so that you can get your heroes up to a better level. Uh, we haven't talked about it, but Yugri picked a Dark Ranger for his third hero, which is a solid choice. Um, silence is definitely very important. We do have and a fight here. He's leading with his alchemist. That's probably not a good choice for him. He has a level 5 paladin. Oh, and let's see here, that Breath of Fire yep. was very strong. However, he missed on the Paladin, and it has been dispelled already, so he Sexy is realizing that he can use his Priest to dispel Silence, which is only going to help him. However, the, the Alchemist, Alchemist does, does go, go down, down again. Arcacase and I like the Fairy Dragon choice here. That's really yes. going to help him, I think. So Red Kiki has 70 food. Sexy has 70 food, but he's TPing out. Um, so that was a good fight for... RKK. However, he's still drastically behind in hero levels. He and is, gold. and his gold count is very low. Um, I'll be interested to see if 
Sexy starts making a tank or two, just because sending those to RKK's expansions while they're fighting could be devastating currently. Yeah, I would have to agree. I don't think RKK would be able to defend against that. And honestly, if this keeps up, I don't think that RKK is going to be able to hold with the amount of gold that he has. If Sexy decides agree. to keep pushing at 80, he can keep resupplying his army, and RKK can't. Yep. So we'll see if he decides to do that. Sexy is well aware of that currently. Um, he's clearly showing no signs of backing off, and RKK is actually going to 100, I believe, which I think is his only shot right now. Um, he needs to both gain some hero levels and pick up another expansion. So if he could surprise Sexy, then he might have a chance. Otherwise, I think he's done. Okay. Um, this fight is going pretty well for him, though, so far. The Paladin did just hit level 6. Yep. So, could be seeing a lot more human units coming back in a moment. And I'm pretty sure I jinxed RKK because... I think you did, yeah. He's, he is he's no not in good shape right now. No. It doesn't look like the other players are even aware of this going on. I, I don't believe could be yeah. wrong. I don't think there's really been much scouting from them no. as far Despite as the, the side of the map. the that has that Priestess of the Moon, um, he has not done a particularly good job scouting anybody other than Ugri. And Ugri has just decided not to scout at all. Um, I, I see one shade down here, but that's about it currently. Ideally, you would see him sending that shade all around the map and looking at the others, just because if nobody's talking, you really need to be aware of what's going on. For all he knows, they could be sitting on 50 hoarding and right. could have 10,000, 15,000 gold already. And Ugri is going to be surprised here because GC did go all the way up to 100 supply and is going to TP with a very strong army. Yep. That and mountain as I giant said, should make a lot of difference. And the anti-magic shield on the fiends is a good choice. Uh, it really, if he's just going to TP out like that, then that saves him a good bit of damage. Yes, and I, I actually think that Ugri wanted to take that fight, but uh, that was before he realized the army that GZ had made. Yeah, seeing that many chims has got to be somewhat disturbing when you're only at 80. Let's see. So RKK is starting... He's at 83 currently, which is not ideal by any means. Um, he's a little low on wood, so I've got to figure he's just waiting to have enough gold and wood to get up to 100. Um, yeah. However, it might have been smart to just not get a Dryad and a Wisp and wait until you can do it all in one burst. Uh, part of the important macro game is being able to get from 50 to 80 as fast as possible and 80 to 100 as fast as possible so you're not wasting gold like this right I, I think that RKK has pretty much decided either he or Sexy needs to die because it does not look like any piece is ever going to form here no. and in RKK's case I have to agree he has to either kill Sexy or die trying I don't see really any other option for him in this game with the route that he's taken here I completely agree, and in Sexy's case, I really think he sees no reason why he would want to stop. I mean, even at 80 versus 100, he'll probably do alright in the fights. And yeah, he has he's a strong gold count. He already is gaining a, a very good uh, hero levels here. He has a good advantage on the other players. His expansions are untouched by Ugri. In fact, they're all even unscouted by Ugri. Yep. And, and Ugri's really the only player who could do anything. We do have a fight yeah. here at the bottom. We do, and interestingly enough, he's keeping those dots in their bird form, which I somewhat disagree with. Uh, maybe he's just using them for fairy fire, but I would try and take them into the Let's let's go down form. here. Yep, and Ugri that Death Knight's going to be right behind it. Ugri TP'd into a terrible position. It looks like he's gonna... it was a double click there. Oh, that was a good TP out, though. He should be able to grab a potion and maybe another TP here. Uh, oh, he does not do either of those. GZ is still at 90 while Ugri is all the I, way down to 54, so this is I clearly this going. Is, I think that's over for Ugri. I mean, he had... I don't know what happened here. He just got totally caught off guard by GZ. Yep, uh, I mean, going Mass Fiends is not exactly how you want to play Undead versus Chippo, and 
that one TP just got him into a corner. I don't know, maybe he just double clicked and it went there by accident because he was it looked like about his, his lich dying. Yeah, it looked like his lich was targeted and he double clicked the TP. And I understand I've done that plenty of times before and it really that mistake can end the game, as you see Absolutely. here, the, the splash damage to the ground army. So Yugri's pretty much dead right now. We're gonna move up to the top left where Sexy is engaging RKK again. RKK has eighty eight food to Sexy's eighty. However, Sexy has the hero levels. He's got 652, and that alchemist is just going to gain levels quickly. Um, interestingly enough, I think this is actually what Sexy had in mind when he created this army composition. I think he wanted to be able to focus down chims like this. So Yes, I agree with you. Panda level 5 is making a big difference. If RKK's Panda was level 5, I think these fights would be going a lot differently. Absolutely. Um, those rifles... Panda, uh, Panda's uh, good... Uh, no, he's had another onk on him. Um, but yeah, if he could take out those rifles, then he'd be in much better shape. Unfortunately, they're just not having much physical damage done to them. Um, even without inner fire, they have a 35% damage reduction. With inner fire, they have a full 46% damage reduction, which if you're right. facing that, you don't want to be. And. RKK is fighting well, but the real story here is RKK is down to 190 gold, whereas Sexy is over 9k. I don't see any way for RKK to really survive here. I agree. Um, it's going to be interesting. If Ugri leaves now, then GZ needs to hit Sexy immediately, and that could give RKK time to get back in the game. Um, Sexy should be seeing the fact that Ugri is dying as... A means to finish RKK now. He most likely has been scouting with. Well, I thought he had an arcane tower somewhere. I no, I don't think not, he does. But, hmm. So I'm not sure how aware Sexy is actually then. Yeah, I but, don't believe that Sexy has. Really, we haven't seen much scouting from any player in this game, which is surprising. I mean, normally you see these players in particular scouting much better than they are currently. Yeah. But there's um, been a lot of action, there's been a lot of focused one versus one fighting, and sometimes you get caught microing your army, focusing on one player that you kind of forget about the others. It really is, and a lot of the time you do do good scouting, however, you only scout one person is the problem. Um, GZ actually is just sending out a scout now, so he'll probably see how sexy and RKK are doing. Um, but it's, you're right, it's hard to keep an eye on three other people at the same time, and that can really come back to bite you in the ass a lot of the time. Yeah, definitely. RKK here, I'm not sure what his plan is. He wants to peace with Sexy, but he's sitting at 70 supply and no gold. So, in my I opinion, agree. he has to try to hoard. I don't know, How do you? what do you think? In that situation. I think he should drop down to 50 and try to get GZ to team Sexy with him. Sexy has a reputation as being an excellent player, and his heroes are out of this world currently, and they're only going to get stronger. Um, the fact that Sexy is letting up... Oh, is he giving him another expo? No. That's, I'm well, not in the game, RKK. RKK. <laughs> <laughs> um, this just... Uh, yeah, I don't know. RKK, I, I do agree with your analysis there. I think that if I were playing, I would try my best to drop to 50 and make up some of the gold differential. You have to note that their players have an overwhelming amount compared to yours. And you don't have the heroes if you're RKK currently to battle somebody off and ignore that gold differential. He's got the worst heroes in the game currently, um, so unless he gains some serious experience somehow then he's going to have the least gold and the least experience on his heroes. Right. The and best thing for him is definitely to... If if GZ scouts, he's going to see Sexy has high-level heroes, and it could be his best chance to have GZ team with him a little bit. I agree, and RKK will definitely team Sexy over GZ, so Sexy's not going to be able to manip him into teaming yellow. Um and it looks like Ugri is just creeping at this point, so he's out of the game. Um, he does have a good, a fair amount of resources. Left. He does, but he's not rebuilding anywhere. Um, no. 
And Jeezy looks really like waiting for somebody to kill him. Jeezy looks like he does want to finish him off. I just don't think he's found him. Yep. Um, interestingly enough, Jeezy is putting up another expo over here, which is good for him because he's about to run out on some other ones. Um, looking at them, However, actually, he's still got 5,000 in most of them. I do have a... Well, if we might have a fight here. Sexy's going to have to TP and save his base. But he does not. The expansion does go down. And RKK is over 80 supply. He's sitting at 90, so he's... He's pretty much decided this at this one. point. Yeah, exactly. Um, you agree brings up a good point. Uh, usually solo players have a more reckless mindset, and you do see them kind of just go at each other all the time until one person ends up dead. Um, I don't believe that this is what the case is here. I think that Sexy realizes exactly what's going on, and he just wanted a chance to hoard a little more. I mean, he's at 12k gold now. I think RKK just sees this as his only chance to come back. He was probably hoping that Sexy would drop down to 50, and he could win some fights there and do some massive damage. Unfortunately for him, I don't think that's going to work out, because Sexy's already back up to 84, and as soon as he gets a few more farms up, he'll go 100 and probably just wipe out RKK. Yeah, in fact, if you look at his factories, he's pumping gyrocopters of all units. I kind of disagree with this choice, but... As long as he can avoid the Breath of Fire, yeah, um, it could be okay. Unfortunately, he does not have anything to silence that panda with or to stun it. So, I mean, they are mobile units, and when they have the plus three armor on them, that could be very interesting, but it also could be very risky. Should RKK get his panda to five, those gyros are going to go down instantaneously. And Ugri seems to think that GZ is the strongest in this game currently, and he is in a good position, but I would have to say Sexy is still in a better position with his gold. Oh, absolutely. Somehow I mean, doubling almost GZ here. And Sexy's been able to do this because he hasn't broken over 80 up until now. I believe he's fought all of his previous battles against RKK at 80 supply. He has, and he's done a great job of it, actually. Um, the fact that he's going 100, I think, indicates he probably has to finish somebody off. Um, he'd probably be happy to team yellow, though, because yellow is his only competition, even though I don't believe he really is. Um, GZ does not have the micro that Sexy has, and in addition, his heroes are on par with Sexy's, but they're not any better. Um, this fight should prove interesting. The pen Alchemist goes down again. He is having trouble keeping that alive. Yeah, and GZ's doing a great job here. He is. And Let's see how the, the gyros go here. Oof, that Breath of Fire was nasty. Yep. It's hard to tell how things are going right now. It looks like GZ TP's out. So Sexy and lost about 22 food, and GZ lost about 24. So that was a pretty even fight. Um, the True Shot Aura is helping GZ out a lot here. I do agree that if he'd actually scout a little bit more on a map like this, the Priestess of the Moon probably would be the better choice. Yeah, I, I, I definitely think the Priestess of the Moon is the better choice. Wow, Ugri actually... Death Pact at his own frost I, one. Yeah, the Dark Ritual or whatever the spell is called. You don't see that very often, but he's just trying to pick anything off here. He knows he has to get hero levels to have any chance in this game. Because he's at 20 supply. <laughs> and is food blocked. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I think he's just having fun and trying to create a more lively game. Um, somebody's bound to find his necro scene. Right, and he's making the right choice here. I mean, he realizes that Sexy is the strongest, and if he can get the others to ignore him, theoretically he could rebuild. He could, but he'd have to show a little more interest in it. Um, he has the resources to do it currently, but he has not shown any particular inclination to do so. Well, um, he's having a hard time finding a free gold mine. That's true, but even when he had the free gold mine below, he never yeah. built any ziggurats or anything. You have a good point there. So Sexy is down to 66 currently. Um... I think it's entirely possible that he'll kill off some of his flying machines and drop to 50. 
despite the fact that he has 12k gold currently, he probably could get ignored. Um, GZ is at 89, that's really not the place that he should be right now. No, and Hopefully interestingly enough, GZ, judging from his chat right there, it looks like he thinks that Sexy is weaker than RKK. Uh, let's see. And RKK is hitting his main base right now. Yeah, RKK is c completely misreading the situation. Um, I think GZ would just like to not be teamed currently. I think he'd be happy to team anybody else. Yeah, I, I um, agree with you. Because despite the fact that he had so many expansions, he is at less than half the gold that Sexy has currently. Um, part of that probably is because he went to 100 earlier on Ugri. But yeah, and he's been over 80 supply for a long time. He did do yeah. a good job in that fight, but he's going to lose his natural expansion right now. He is, and I'm not entirely sure why he TP'd out when he did. I think he could have stayed in longer and probably saved that expansion. Um, I mean, at this point, any expansion is needed. Over here we I have Sexy have. is just chasing around Ugri, trying to kill him. Probably thinking as long as it looks like he's doing something to fight, then he's in great shape. Right, and I'm not sure who's... I guess he's calling Sexy a noob, but I'm not I sure why. So. I, I must have missed something there. I did too. I'm guessing that he couldn't kill off the Death Knight because it's fast as hell. But it looks like... Uh, they still haven't found the top one, I don't think. But Ugri is not going to get the chance to rebuild. No, and no player I'm wants that. very confused at RKK's play here. He has no gold. He's sitting at 85 supply. And he keeps trying to hit yellow. In fact, they all seem to think that yellow is the strongest player right now. He does have strong heroes. But they're, they're really overestimating. They're overestimating his gold count and underestimating Sexy's gold count. And Sexy does have the tendency to fly under the radar sometimes. Um, I'm right. wondering if part of that might be because he's brown that people don't realize how many expansions <laughs> he has. I mean, it actually is a valid point if you look at the minimap. It's pretty hard to tell that he has some of those expansions. Um, that could happen. I think the bigger thing here, and this happens with, with strong players, is they fight so often that people think they're using their gold, though they're not really losing a lot of units. And in Sexy's case... He's been fighting 100 supply armies with 80 supply or less and doing a good job of it. So people and are he thinking. he also has reincarnation with Paladin, so even right. if he does lose stuff, it's coming back. So he's not losing as much in these fights as the other players are, plus they're not mining as much gold because they're over 80 supply and he's under it. I think that's where the big gold disparity is coming from here and why others probably point. think that he has less, or he has more than he does. Well, that and the fact case. that they're just not very good. <laughs> I was trying to, you know, think the best of the players, but <laughs> that could also you mean be the you're case. just making excuses for them? It's yes. okay, we all do it from time to time. Interestingly right. enough, Jeezy is hitting sexy. Um, this, this is probably a good move for him. We'll now let's see, see if RKK is going to help here. I'm sure sexy is going to call for help. I don't doubt that at all. It. I, I don't doubt it either. Hmm. Come on, Sexy, don't let me down. Well, All you have to do is type GC100. <laughs> Actually, it looks like Sexy might just counter hit, which for him would be a great move if he hurries the hell up and does it. Um, yeah, he can lost definitely two last expansions. longer. Alright, so let's see. GZ only has one Wisp in that mind, so hopefully he won't decide that that's the one to TP to. I think he will. Really, you're manipulating against RKK, who has, let's see, 800 gold. And Sexy's going to take it because he realizes that he is... I, I believe that Sexy knows he's the strongest, and any pressure that he can take off of himself and put onto another player is obviously a good decision for him. I agree, and he is really good at that. Um, I mean, just watching plenty of his games, despite the fact that he's one of the best micro players that we have in FML, um, people just seem to underestimate him somehow. Uh, I'm not really sure why that is, and maybe people will actually notice after listening to this, but... Right, well, yeah. in Sexy's More games, for anyone that... Sexy. 
And we do have a fight, maybe. Sexy's trying to avoid it here, which is a good decision. He's going to get crushed by this army. And all the players seem to be fooled currently. I'll be interested to see if they actually decide to hit RKK. If they do both hit him, I suspect that he'll suicide somebody and just leave. Um, he's not one to deal well with people hitting him when he's weak and doesn't have very much gold. Right. And it would be frustrating to just get these expansions up and then have somebody immediately come in and wipe you out like Jeezy's about to do. I am curious if Jeezy actually thinks that RKK is the strongest or wants to get his heroes better. Um, I he's not really that think... far from a Priestess of the Moon level 6. Yeah, his Dark Ranger is level 7 as well. And I, I honestly do believe that Jeezy thinks that RKK is the strongest. If you think back on the game so far, Jeezy hasn't been very great with his scouting. He's doing a better job now, but in the early parts of the game, he has no reason to be believe or be aware of the fact that RKK was mining less than everyone else. That's true, but I think that well, when you've played more, you'll realize that with his spawning position and where Sexy's expos are currently, right. the only possible ones he could get would be the two expos that are next to him, and that would mean that he has less, plus the fact that his heroes are so much lower than Sexy's indicates that he was losing those fights. Um, yes. However, this is a custom game, and they're probably not paying that much attention, so I suspect you're correct, and he just has no idea. Yeah, I would agree with you. If you if you look at the game, you should be able to realize that RKK does not have the gold, because, as you said, his heroes are so much lower. That means he's been losing the fights, he's been having to rebuild his army more than the other players, Plus, he's only had those two expansions, so really there's no reason to believe that he's the strongest at this point, and obviously he's not, he's the weakest, besides Ugri, who, in my opinion, is pretty much out of the game, so... I agree, although he actually does look to be making some effort at rebuilding stuff currently, um, yes, which getting is more than he back. was doing, so I'm not really sure if he just wants to run around with heroes, or if he's going to make a legitimate effort later on to make a comeback. Um, 1,000 gold isn't really enough to do it anymore. Earlier on with three or 4,000, it would be possible for him to build some fiends or gargoyles or something really late game and try to make a comeback a la MAGA in the Season 15 finals. Yes, which were insane. If you haven't watched those, I highly recommend them. I was sitting on the edge of my seat for probably a while, <laughs> especially the end there. Yeah, that was great play by him, and hopefully we'll be shoutcasting one of his games soon because they're an absolute pleasure to watch, and he's easily the best player currently. Um, a lot of the gold mistakes that are going on now would not be made by some of our more experienced players. Um, Lewis doesn't play anymore, but he could tell you within 1,000 or 2,000 gold how much gold you had all game just based off of what the gold mine counts were and stuff like that. Um, right. I don't think... I think we've traded a little bit of that for some truly spectacular micro players currently. Um, and interestingly enough, if you look up here, Sexy does know where Ugri's last mine or er, buildings are now. Um, I'm not sure how long that farm has been there, but should he be a pest, then he'll probably get wiped out by Sexy, and that may be happening now, actually. Yeah, I think I think that Sexy is actually going to leave Ugri alive with the thought that he can have Ugri help him by manipulating him against one of the other players. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I could see that running through Sexy's mind. Yeah, He's so done this before in many thought. games. Yep. Um, and the fact that he knows where the buildings are while nobody else does, and he probably thinks they're the last buildings. Um Ugri is currently rebuilding on a very, very low mine down here. Right. As RKK should know too, considering he's walked or <laughs> he's ran wisps by and also walked this tree, so he yeah, should be aware. I think he's probably in the same boat that he just described. For oh, RKK has actually found both of the spots now. Yeah. Um, but I suspect he's in the same spot and figures that Ugri hasn't shown any aggression towards him, so it couldn't hurt to let him live for now. That's true, and I don't know how you feel about this. I probably wouldn't kill Ugri, but if you're in RKK's position, it might be a, a good idea to actually kill him because 
your heroes are so much lower level than the other two players. I Killing. actually think it would be a very good idea to kill him. And if I was RKK, I think I would. Um, yeah. ex you're exactly right. He needs that experience more than he needs anything else currently, except maybe some gold. And GZ is still looking to end Ugri, which makes sense because Ugri has been the pest to him and will continue to think that he's the strongest, maybe because he really believes that or maybe just because he has a grudge against Ugri from early game. Um, both are viable, right. but either way, I suspect that Ugri will end up dead the moment that GZ finds the top spot. And in fact, Ugri did just cancel RKK's expansion down in the bottom left. So, oh, we have a fight here at RKK's expansion with Sexy, and Sexy's going to take this out, no problem. Yep. I and Honestly, I feel for RKK. He's being attacked by almost every player and it really doesn't make sense because I mean he's clearly the weakest here Might I don't know Might, yeah right <laughs> yeah, no, Once again, I completely agree with you and it does happen at times and it just sucks I mean the, when you can't convince anybody that you only have a thousand gold, two thousand gold and the worst heroes but they continue to team you I mean there's nothing you can do, and that's one of the unfortunate parts of free-for-all. Yes. And one thing to note here is GZ has been sitting on 100 supply for probably about 10 minutes now. So I think the other players are going to think he has more gold than he actually does, because you don't really see someone sit on 100 supply unless they're actually going to use yeah. it. And GZ hasn't right. really been using it. And GZ should have pulled the wisps out of the mind. Um he only has 6,000 gold in his mines currently, and you want to save that for late game. Um, ideally, he would have, earlier on when he was expoing, taken the wisps out of his main mine to move to an expo. Uh, that way he could save two or 3,000 gold in his main for later on when he really needs it. Yeah, I agree. It looks like GZ here is trying to kill Ugri off, and it looks like he's about to find him. Yep. I think he's correct. This um, should be the end of Ugri. And for those that haven't been paying much attention to the chat, RKK is trying to convince GZ that Sexy is the strongest, and he's making the correct argument here. Um, Sexy has the most mines, he was not in upkeep for a while, and really he's just in the best position. Um, whether or not GZ believes it is another story, though. And... I can't find Uri's building, but he must have one. Oh, there they are, bottom. Yep, he just got it off, and he's got one Acolyte, which GZ actually had the chance to kill earlier and let get away. Right, and it looks like everyone is aware that Sexy's the strongest, except for GZ. <laughs> yeah, um, Sexy is definitely aware of it. Ugri may or may not know, but it's not really relevant at this point. Right. Okay. He's trying to argue for, for GZ to hit Sexy, and who knows if he's saying this because he thinks Sexy is the strongest or just because he doesn't want Jeezy to kill him. But uh, I think Ugi's aware. He's I watched agree. enough of Sexy's games to to know that Sexy is usually has more gold than people give him credit for. Yeah, he's not quite as bad as New Black, who would automatically start with 15,000 gold, it seemed like. But Sexy can certainly put it on. And Sexy actually, well, he's not anymore. But on this expo earlier, he was having them mine wood instead of gold because he was at 100. I guess he figures that he's got such a big gold advantage, he just wants to kill all the gold on the map at this point. Um, but he was doing a great job of macroing it earlier to really reflect the best times to mine it when he was either above or below 80. Alright, we and have a fight here. here. Yep, We've got a fight, and... And RK is doing surprisingly well. Yeah. Going the way Sexy is planning. Um, unfortunately, yeah, Sexy is... I'm curious why Sexy... Oh, good silence there. But Sexy had his panda without silence for a while, and he could have done a lot of damage to those pan uh, hippos. Yeah, I agree. He's at 400... I mean, he's at full mana, so... Well, we'll see here. He's actually dropped back to 80 now, though. Um, I would be curious if he's not nearly as excited about losing some units as he 
wants to be. He claims that he loses fights on purpose a lot, and this would be certainly be an instance where it might help him. Um, if he could convince RKK that he was losing to him a lot, he might get them to team GC, despite the fact that I don't really think he needs that at this point. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think... Well, I don't know here. I mean, he's he had the supply, but he has got a lot of peasants too, so I think that the supply That's advantage was kind of mis misleading. However, GZ fighting him with a hun Oh, if you look here, that would explain it. There yes. are nine tanks. I had not noticed this knows earlier. That. Yep. And GZ does not have the best army to fight tanks with. No, he does not. Wisely, he's backing up. He should have this panda go in and just do breath after breath of fire on those tanks. Oh, um, no, don't lead with your air. Oh, uh, this is not going to end well for him. That panda yeah, goes Jeezy down, needs though. to pull back. He does not have an Ankh on it anymore, so... And that's surprising. He could have used his ultimate. Yep. Um, I think it just went too quickly, and he didn't notice. He's probably trying to get all the air, since he was really killing Jeezy's air pretty easily. Um, Jeezy still lost 16 food in that fight, which only lasted about 20 seconds. Yeah, I... I would not be surprised at all if we see Sexy try to manip either Ugri or RKK at this point. Especially, all he really has to say is, scout my base, you'll see that my hero's dead. I don't know if that'll convince uh, them, but... I think RKK, and probably Ugri, although I'm not sure to as great an extent about Ugri, um, realize how strong Sexy is, though, and just have a feel from playing with him so much. <laughs> see, and so RKK is saying that Sexy's between twelve and 15,000. That's pretty close. He's saying he's yeah, he's 10, very 000, close. So he got his own gold count right. That's impressive. And Jeezy <laughs> has a little bit more. Jeezy has around 8,000 currently. Um, but so he definitely has a better awareness than we've been giving him credit for in terms of gold count currently. Yeah, and I, I, I actually thought that RKK had a pretty good idea of what was going on in this game. RKK has always been a player, in my opinion, that he doesn't always make the best decisions, but I feel like he usually knows what's going on, if that makes sense. Like yeah, he I usually think... knows who the strongest is. Sometimes he'll hit the wrong person, and I'm not sure why that is, but... Um... I think a lot of it is that he gets frustrated that players aren't as good as him. Um, right. So somebody else will not realize, like GZ earlier, will think that RKK was the strongest, and if he doesn't either have the patience to deal with it or just is in a bad mood then it would not be uncommon to see RKK try and punish somebody for not being able to play the game properly in his opinion um, right. often it's known as a suicide and it's an accurate description because he'll just keep running army arm into army into army uh, at that player until that player dies and it puts the player doing the suicide into a position where they don't have any chance of winning the game. Right, and he, RKK knows he's about to die, and he doesn't realize, though, that GZ is going on Nearby. to Sexy's main, so... Yeah. So this is it's a... This is his lucky day here. <laughs> yep. This is a very nice example of natural teaming. Um, a lot of the times in free-for-all, people will say, team this player, and go now, etc., etc., However, when you get better players, they just start to automatically realize when they need to hit somebody and how to do that. And this is a great example of that. If RKK comes in and hits Sexy from the top, that would not surprise me at all, and he'd be able to take great advantage of it. Unfortunately, GZ had to TP out too early. Yeah, he was getting destroyed by those tanks. He was focused on the Alchemist, and he did almost take it down, but he, by focusing the Alchemist, he flew his entire air army all clumped up directly over mass tanks, something that you'd never want to do. I know it can be tempting, you see a red hero, you want to go for it, but sometimes yeah. you have to realize you could potentially lose your whole army trying to kill this level 4 hero. It's probably not worth it. That's exactly correct. Um, and especially, Sexy has a good composition to beat GZ's army. Between the Spellbreakers, which will completely sap all of the mana out of his heroes if he lets it, and the tanks for the air. Um, really, what he needs to do is just play a hit-and-run game with his panda and try and take those tanks down. Um, 
Because right. that's going to be his biggest problem currently. In other news, GZ might have just become Persuade's favorite player because he has two glaives following his army. And these are in response to the tanks. Which I know not a bad idea. Not a bad idea at all. Uh, um, they take some good positioning and control to use in a fight. So we'll see if GZ is going to use them properly here. But personally, I never go glaives because, well, there's a level 7 panda and... Panda's pretty good yeah. against Glaives, so... <laughs> the Panda's gonna be the truly hard part to deal with. Um, he has a DR, so the silence on it will be beneficial to him. Um, but as you can see from the positioning here, if he gets this too close, his own Chim's damage are gonna take him down instantaneously. Um, yes. The magic damage and versus the heavy armor, it does not end well for the Glaives. And now they're in terrible position. They're trailing the rest of his army. It would not surprise me to see the panda just come in and kill him. Well, Sexy just successfully manipulated GZ. He convinced GZ that Ugri just took out his last expansion and that RKK has three expansions. This is very poor if GZ actually falls for this. Yep. Um... And RKK has only recently gotten that expansion up. Right. You can see RKK going to... Hmm. Unfortunately, he was just getting back into good position. I mean, he's at 4,500 gold. He's got a nice army composition, and his heroes are starting to gain some momentum. But if they team him now, then I don't see him recovering, at least not without a lot of luck going into it. And, I mean, GZ has his owl following Sexy's army, I don't know. I, I think I speak for elves everywhere. You see mass tanks. You don't really want to team with no. that person because it comes down to one versus one. Mass tanks are probably going to kill your whole base and all your and bases honestly, everywhere. You don't really... If you're even with another human, you don't want to team with them unless it's a very dire situation. And it doesn't look like Jeezy is going to team with them. So I think he's making the right choice here, but just mass tanks in general are a pain in the ass to deal with and there are just so many ways it can come back to kill you especially when you're going for a chippo army yeah and here goes gz oh not the best breath of fire here nope but he's got the at right idea he's air back, yeah he has a 630 mana panda um with no silence to stop him that could spell a lot of trouble for oh, he's clumping up all his chins right here this is not yeah. good and he's just focusing down the heroes. Um, and he didn't even kill the hero. It escaped with about three health, unfortunately. This would be a good, good time to starfall. Oh, his all of his chins are going to die here. Yep. Um, putting out that healing ward was a nice touch that probably saved him a good amount, but it may not matter in the end. Oh, he's all right. Sexy oh, do is not, pulling his do back. Do not chase with all those red chimps. No. Breath of fire, kill it. Oh, shit. All right. Oh, man. Sexy well. has successfully pulled himself completely out of starfall range. Jeezy is not going back into it. And Jeezy has to TP out now. He at least did bring his bottom up so that it would TP out with him. But he lost. And he did fight fairly well in this there. fight. Sexy's down to 41 supply. RKK should be hitting right now, in my opinion. Yep. I think part of it, though, was Sexy lost Peasants while he was fighting because Yugri was uh, attacking him at the same time with his heroes in the base. So if you look, right. he does not actually have any Peasants left currently, which, should they manage to kill that castle really quickly, that would be a game-changer if they could take out the Town Hall and the castle. Because I'm looking at I don't see Peasants anywhere, actually. No, I, I don't know that he has any... This. All right, well, that's something to note and come back to. RKK is up to 80 and has 5,500 gold. Heroes still aren't the strongest, but he's got a decent army composition. Um, really a little bit of everything. He might want to get another fairy, um, just because that seemed to help him out a good bit last time. All right, Ugri, you're a little off here on the gold count. <laughs> More like 9k, but... I don't know how I feel about Sexy broadcasting his supply right now. I mean, he really does only have 41 supply. And RKK is very close to his main base. He could see this as an opportunity to hit 
Especially now that he's shown his army. Ooh, that was a rough choice there. Um, losing that expo really hurt our KK. He needed that, and I would not be surprised to see the two of them go oh. to set. No, this is. Yeah. Yeah. GZZ. GZZ. GZC's. Uh, RKK's big army, he knows he just won a fight against Sexy. Sexy really is down to 41 supply, and he's not rebuilding his army. And in GZ's eyes, this could look like, oh well, maybe Sexy's low on gold. And RKK is correct here. Ooh, almost <laughs> a nice kill for it. Let's see what that Death Knight can get off the coil. Let's really see if he can coil. Nice. There he goes. All nice right, kill. Good job, Ugri. So Ugri clearly knows exactly what's going on right now. Um, he's just picking away at Sexy, and if the Elves both are smart, and RKK, they'll let him live. They, they're both aware of what's going on. You can tell by the chat, they both know Sexy has a lot of gold left. Yep, and see. Sexy is aptly proving that he is fantastic at the mental games. Um, honestly, I think it's a little early to me to play dead. Uh, it's come back to bite him in the ass many yeah. times yeah. before. Um, with 8,000 gold, I think he should make at least one more full army. But that's just my personal opinion, and it has worked out for him when people just don't believe that he has any gold left, and GZ may fall for it. We'll have to see. Well, I think GZ is falling for it, and but I do agree with you. I really dislike this decision, if I may be critical for a moment. I know Sexy's a better player than me, I haven't made any finals or semifinals. <laughs> in fact, I don't know if I've even won an FML match, but um, in my opinion here, well, I'm going to hold that, that thought because nice Yeah, that was a very nice round. Sexy. Um, and I oh, think but GZ stole, stole the that. kill. <laughs> that was very well played by GZ. And can he get another? Wow. He got the GZ should, Wow. GZ he should really... go to Sexy's base and try and finish him right now. And, and I, I think, think that's what he's doing. That was a fantastic move by GZ right there, and he now has an eight seven six combo. Um, and he he's hope doubling to be shape. Sexy's supply. Sexy could die here. This is what I'm talking about. This is why you can't play dead exactly. with eight thousand gold, because um, he has no peasants on the map, as far as I'm aware. And, and he really isn't. He has some production buildings, but they're mostly he's pumping griffins right now. Um, Charms griffins can take care tanks. of some of those. Taking out the castle is going to hurt. Now he needs to hit the production right now. Um, Sexy's become aware he does not have any peasants. He's currently producing one and running it down. He knows he has enough gold that he can rebuild. But it's getting focused. GZ is it's doing just a great focused. job of taking all that away. Sexy's Sexy going to lose his game now. One more town hall over there, and he's running his army away. So he may rebuild, but great job to GZ and hats off. That was very well played. Yeah, very good decision here. I thought that GZ was fooled by Sexy's manipulation, but I thought he so hit too, at a great, great, great timing. Speaking of how hard it is to keep Glaives alive, though, um, we just saw GZ kill off two of his own there on accident yeah. because they got too close to the tank. So it really is easy to lose those the moment you stop paying attention. Um, GZ is currently at 95. He should build one more chim probably, and... RKK is well aware of what's going on, I think, and going to try and take out GZ's main. Um, because now GZ really is the biggest threat currently. It's going to take Sexy a lot of gold to rebuild that. Yeah, and I don't know how you feel about this, but I think RKK should have waited uh, just a little longer here. Because Sexy's um, not dead yet. I agree, but at the same time, I think he it's hard may to know. Need Sexy's heroes to actually take down GZ, and it's probably better to err a little bit on the side of caution. Yeah. But from an observer's point of view, I do agree that he did it a little too early. I would have let GZ take out pretty much the entirety of the production buildings in the main base, and then Sexy would be forced to just use his heroes and completely rebuild. Yeah, correct. I agree. And I mean, RK made the right decision, though. I don't want to take anything away from him. You can't really know that. We ha obviously have a huge advantage being able to see everything going on. <laughs> Assuming he doesn't uh, attack, of course. We do have a fight here, though, and ooh, I think GZ is going to crush this fight. Uh, maybe. I think RKK is a better micro player in general, though, so I think 
despite the fact that GZ has better heroes, I think it will be a pretty even fight overall. Um, well, GZ lost six supply, and RKK is down was down to seventy two. Yeah. But GZ did have to TP out, which, which isn't that, that big of a deal. Um, honestly, at this point, I'd rather use the Panda's ultimate and save that TP. Um, despite right. The fact I think that his Panda is pretty crucial to the fight. I think his panda was silenced, and he didn't want to risk losing it. So I, I am he does okay have with the it. Reincarnation on it, though. That's true. But that is good to save. Um, and honestly, <laughs> Ugolena is calling out Sexy's bluff here. He knows Sexy still has gold. Yeah, and I think RKK does too. Um, I think it's more RKK sees this as a great opportunity to gain some gold. Yeah. And gain an advantage on everybody else. Um, and GZ is and still mining though. He is, and it looks like I'll be surprised if Sexy kills RKK's yep, tree I think here. Sexy will let it live, and I think Sexy knows he needs the help from RKK. Yeah. And Ugri is actually upgrading his Halls of the Dead currently, um, and he also has a mine. So Ugri has a very viable shot to get back in this. Um, if they keep fighting each other, he has 9,000 on this mine, and that's plenty to rebuild an army later on. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Ugri has put himself in a position here where, I mean, obviously the odds are stacked against him, but we've so, seen crazier yeah, things. Absolutely, and the fact that he's even just giving himself this chance to live when he was down to one building earlier on. Um, you got to give him some credit for hanging in there because it's certainly not the most interesting thing to just chill in a free-for-all game while everybody else is playing and you have a hero no. running around. I totally agree with you. Let's see, it looks like GZ... Well, yeah, he's going to hit RKK here. See, I don't know how you feel about this, but in this position, and if I were GZ, in my mind I would think I have to finish off Sexy because I can win the one versus one I agree. Huh. Um, I think that that would be the wise move in this case and it's not always the obvious move because you think about who seems more threatening at this point and you want to take them down yeah. however sexy is more threatening later on um rkk has pretty much no gold left now and his heroes aren't in a position to be super threatening um if the dark ranger gets to six then that could certainly be annoying but as is gz can just run around take a chim from him and kind of play it by ear Interestingly enough, looking at GZ's heroes, he only has one staff, and that's on the panda. Um, that's something that I yeah. disagree with. I definitely agree with you. Uh, granted, his Priest of the Moon is pretty stacked. There's a lot of auras on that thing. Yep, that's true. Um, um, but I'm trying to think has, what I'd get rid of. Ah, it's almost got a thousand. Um, I would definitely get rid of the orb of Venom on the Dark Ranger oh, yeah, and put a staff there. there. And honestly, he probably doesn't need the AMS and invulnerability pot. Um, it's a luxury, however, you could also trade one of those for the staff. Oh, and hmm, this is kind of interesting that Sexy's taking Ugri out. Um, yeah, I find this interesting too. I, mean, I suppose he's more comfortable with only having three players in the game at this point. Well, and I think Which, Sexy's thinking that he's going to be able to mine this at 50 supply, or, you know, in any case, he's going to be able to mine it, and the other players are not going to stop him because they think he's dead. Yeah. Or they're too true. busy with each other to... However, Ugri could certainly... So we do be, have a big uh, fight here. Yep. Oh, wow, did you see that silence? Silence, yep. Talk about a really big pain and in the ass, and... RKK is just dominating this fight so far. Um, yeah, too many chimps for GZ, and he's going to have a really bad TP That's right a here. terrible TP, and GZ has gotten slaughtered here. That puts a 6, and let's see, that panda's got to be... Yep, panda 6 too. Wow, this so, was a great fight for RKK. This really gives him a shot now in this game. I thought he was really all the dead. Yeah. And he's about to be mining GZ again. is not playing dead. Um... GZ is pumping units currently, which is good because RKK probably will take this chance to at least try and get some hero kills. Um, level 8, level 7, level 7. If RKK can kill two of those, that's going to give him a ton of experience. 
Right. And However, sexy it will be slightly hard without any chimps. Sexy's loving here. this right now. Look, he's killing the expansion for RKK, and this is... I mean, RKK needed this. Yeah. RKK's in great position in terms of heroes and army, but he does only have 500 gold, and that's not the position you want to be in. Um, GZ got a nice silence off there. He should charm something right now. I'm not sure why he's not. He and, was silenced. I think he just charmed something. Uh, ideally, he would use this dryad in order to take silence off of them. Um, yeah, he's focusing heroes right now with dryads. I'm not sure how I feel about this. He might kill the Dark well, Ranger, yep. in fact. Oh my gosh, the level 6 Dark Ranger went down. Boy, how things do turn about again. Um, wow. Although RKK has had that one chim with like three hit points the oh, entire he time. Lost. He's losing a lot of uh, hippos here. Yeah, and with no gold, that's probably game. Although I have said that like four times about RKK, so maybe I should stop underestimating him. Um, but GZ recovered nicely yeah, there. He's, he's at 80. And RKK's got one position. army left, and I will be shocked if he uses it. You know what I mean? I, I, mean, I think he's going to try to avoid big fights. Probably hide I his agree. air, maybe in the corner, and uh, start using his heroes to fight. That would definitely be the smart thing. Um, with the Panda 6, that really helps out a lot. And if he could just run in and start charming some stuff, then that would be a good position for him. Sexy actually only has a thousand gold, but he is mining completely. Um, and yeah, no. Ugri realizes that Sexy is going to be a big threat really soon. Let's see if he starts trying right. to. Right. Yep, there we go. That's just <laughs> there about to say. I'm That's sure he'll bring it to the to attention say. of other players. And this is a good good timing to do that. It's not always. Um, and it's hard to tell when to tell the other players. You don't always want to say, uh, but this, in my opinion, is a perfect time because. It seems like the other two players have forgotten about Sexy. Yeah, I agree. Um, and I'm glad that Ugri has brought it to their attention, because should, if they just kept focusing on each other, then it would be handing Sexy the free win, pretty much. Um, however, between Ugri's heroes and even just one of their armies, then <laughs> they would be able to do some serious damage to Sexy. Yes, definitely. And Ugri definitely realizes that Sexy has uh, gold left. Um, I'm not sure where did Sexy use his gold. He had like 4,000, didn't he? Yep, um, he's upgrading a keep over here. He oh, built he a built a lot of stuff over down here. here. And he rebuilt his army because he was down to, I think, 38 at one point, and he's up to 75 now. Um, and GC is yeah, having and his owls follow Ukri around, so... He's clearly making sure that Ugri doesn't come and try and snipe anything from him in revenge for the wonderful kill he managed to pull off earlier. I just want to point this out here. RKK, I love this about him. He's scouting the corners of the map because we have seen so many times players have hidden big armies, played dead, mm -hmm. and simply just swooped in and taken the victory. And RKK is not going to let that happen. Uh, I really appreciate good scouting like this. Yeah, and it's something that everybody should do, but we definitely don't do it nearly enough. Um, I know that I realize theoretically people can have hidden armies, and I build hidden armies myself, and probably 50% of the time my armies survive, and I probably only find theirs like 5% of the time, but that's because I'm bad and RKK is actually good, so. <laughs> yes, well, I'm bad too, so I'm right there with you. And GZ is trying to take out Ugri, which I don't think is his brightest idea ever. Um, I, yeah. I'm trying to figure out what is going through GZ's mind right now. I'm not sure. I mean, he he obviously thinks that he's the strongest. And in my opinion, he is the strongest right now. Yep. But he only has 550 gold. And he's got to realize if he loses this army one time, That's his chances of winning this game yep. are all but over. And I really appreciate the fact that despite Ugri being attacked by GZ, he's not trying to extract revenge. Um, he clearly thinks that Sexy is the biggest threat, and Sexy has 2.2k now, so he may very well be. Um, and he continues to try and actually play for the win as opposed to play for revenge, which if more players played like that, then 
it would really just be more competent games overall, although they might not be as entertaining. Right. No, I completely Jeezy's. agree. Ugri is... Oh, no. I'm not sure if this is auto-attack or... Nope, that's not auto-attack. No, he's silenced. That's, that's not a... That may gain him a half a level on somebody, but... This is really just yeah. not what he wanted to do. Oh, in RK, you Ugri need to kill this expansion. Okay, I thought he was going to walk next to it. Yep, yeah, RKK still got a very good idea of what's going on right now. Um, that's good. But... Sexy is able to gain it a good amount like of It looks like you are lagging. lagging. Yep, unfortunately, you are, I yeah. play on the bot for um, a lot of time. For some reason, it starts to make me lag. I'm not sure why it is, but it doesn't like me. Which is going to be very inconvenient. Well, hopefully... <laughs> yes. Hopefully you can survive uh, through the rest of this game. It's becoming a pretty... It looks like it's going to be an interesting end here. Ugri yeah, it really does. knows the Sexy is the strongest. RKK, I'm not sure what's going on in his mind, but he... Oh, my. It looks like he's fighting sexy here. Yep. And this is going to be a very important battle. And at this point, I think RKK is just going to back off. He needs to heal those chims. They're going into a terrible position. Yeah, all... Hmm. Yep, okay. Well, RKK is maybe... definitely not trying to engage. But sexy may try to gain something off of him, and it looks like he will be successful at it. A nice TP here by RKK, I, I think. Oh, he, he left a few hippos. Grab him, grab him. Alright, I think that was a good TP. He could not afford to lose any units there. Yep, I agree. And GZ is killing is much cheaper. Ugri. This is not the right choice here. Nope, it's not. Um, I can certainly understand why he's doing it. I've made poor decisions like this myself late game. You think just taking somebody out is one step closer to winning, but they need Ugri to snipe right. sexy at this point. Right, and in my opinion, GZ thinks that sexy's all but dead. Uh, I don't think he realizes. Obviously, he hasn't seen the left side of the map where sexy's rebuilt a lot of buildings. Yeah. Um, and I don't think he realized how much gold he mined from that expansion or how much gold he had when he died. I think that's true. Um, I'm not sure he ever scouted the expo while it was up, and if he scouts now, he's not going to see it's gone. Um, he's actually got his own expo going on, though, and it's a tough choice. I'm not sure if you keep mining this at 94 or yeah, if you try I, to drop I, I down to you 80. Um, you probably aren't going to keep it very long and want to keep your army. However, he could realize later on that he mined it uncontested for a long time and could have made more gold at 80. Um However, RKK has noticed that GZ is mining and that Expo will die soon. Yeah, I agree here. It looks like RKK is going to try to team with Sexy against GZ. And I, in his defense, it does look like it would be the right decision. I don't think it is, though. RKK could lose a lot against Jeezy's army, and if that happens, Sexy's just going to win the game. Yep. Um, I think RKK is going to play this very close to the chest and try to get them to fight each other. I think he realizes what a weak position he's in currently, and he's not going to be able to expand again. Um, the 200 right, gold and he his has now wish is might be granted. the last of the gold he gets. And Jeezy is probably just going to camp and protect his expo. Um... I really can't see him... Uh, nope, maybe not. I was going to say I can't see him going after anybody, but... Looks like he may go to either defend his base from Ugri if he decides to go that way. Or maybe... <laughs> Ugri's content to creep a green. <laughs> hey, he's still got some levels he can get on that uh, Dark Ranger. And he does still have a little bit of gold. Granted, he doesn't have any production buildings, so... Can't really use it. In fact, we're... What buildings? I see he's got a necro here. What other building does he have? Oh, he's got some up by the tavern still. Um, and this yeah, will be an right. interesting fight over here. Let's see. Unfortunately, late game, it's going to be pretty hard to kill any of Sexy's heroes. Ever. Right. Arki is trying to get Sexy to fight GZ with him. <laughs> And for some reason, Sexy's not. I'm very surprised by this. 
I am too. Um, I wonder if he fears that RKK is just going to come in behind and backstab him, like happened earlier in the game, yeah. um, which could be a valid. And he can also. Him. He also might be thinking RKK still has gold, and yeah, that's a possibility. Obviously, he's wrong, but uh, you know it's very safe. I'm sorry. And GZ is not going to lose the bear, and it will be interesting to see. There's a TP on uh -oh. the still. Yep. And and it looks like Uger is oh, about to die. His buildings are being yeah. killed. Well, oh, I bet he couldn't TP because the uh, Hall had died. Right. Well, that'll be good for a GZ. Well, and he would just TP to Sexy. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Nice game, Uger. You played pretty well there. Um, definitely survived a lot longer than we thought. Yeah, definitely. He made good choices. He just, you know, he never really could ever get rebuilt. Every time he was close, someone would go and kill him. Yeah, it really just goes back to that one fight. Um, he was not doing badly before that. He had a decent position, um, but he just was not able to. And, yeah, he's saying he's got 2K again, and... You were correct, you agree. You made the correct decision on hitting Sexy and continuing to hit Sexy. Yes, and... Uh, oh, man, if GZ could just see this stream of units right here, he could pick a few off, and that would be really good for him, but unfortunately, he just barely misses it. I can barely see the units going on the minimap. I have to go scroll in to see him. Um, GZ actually has oh, yeah, I was... on it, so... <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't notice that. He should have seen that. I really think he should have picked some things off there. I agree. I do wonder if he still thinks RKK is the strongest, though. I am 99% sure he does. Never hit the human. Always hit the night elf. Oh, wait, that's not the right motto. That's, Always hit the human. No, is the I, was, <laughs> I was like, that's the opposite of what it should be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, elf um, is always the worst. Just always assume elf is the weakest. Because they are. Unless they're elf. facing an undead. And then it's easy to assume that the two of them should just team everybody else. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Unless the undead is MAGA. That's All true. Right. Then you just play kill MAGA. Um, wow, this could so, be great for sexy. If they both base trade each other, nope, Jeezy's going to TP. Yep. And I w RKK has to assume that Jeezy has more gold than he does. Um, yes. He's been excellent on gold counts before, however, I don't think you realize just how much sex he got out of mining that again. Um, no, he, the fact uh, that he scouted it. Yeah, I am very surprised. RKK, he really must believe sex he's low on gold, and unfortunately, he is wrong this time. I don't know, maybe this is some master strategy where RKK will hit GZ, have Sexy come in, and they can both team Sexy. Yeah, I mean, he could backstab him. I don't foresee him doing that, but it'd be awesome if he did. <laughs> yeah, they're both playing very... or not both, they're all playing very safe right now because they all realize if they engage and one other player helps, I mean, no one at this point can fight one versus two. Yep, um... GZ has the army and heroes to be able to survive the best, probably, however, he lacks micro compared to both the other players, and it, I don't know, it's just an interesting situation right now. Sexy has enough to rebuild one army. Yeah, and I, I agree with uh, Ugerlane in here, he's saying <laughs> Sexy does always benip, and I don't know why. I mean, out of every replay of Sexy that I ever watch or games that I play with him, he always does this. He always acts like he's dead, and he always has a few thousand gold in the bank. But yeah, for some reason, people um, never seem to catch on. And it kind of reminds me of... I'm trying to think. I mean, I Maga does this of, very well, too, but he doesn't yeah. do it every game like Sexy does, where I, I think, think it, it might be the should fact be that he does it in custom games um, is what's kind of annoying. Yeah. And, I mean, at this point, it's just a 
fun game, and there's nothing on the line here. Um, if this were an actual FML game, I could understand really playing to get the win, all that stuff, but nobody has anything but pride on the line right here, and they should go ahead and just do something. Yeah, I agree. Although, what they're about to do is the something that they shouldn't. <laughs> Which would be... <laughs> they, uh, they're going to team the week. They're going to team GZ. And GZ is strong. I understand they need to weaken him a little bit, but um, if RKK loses much in this fight, then he's he's done for. So here we go. Starfall right, goes that's down. That's a very nice Starfall. Let's see if uh, anybody keeps in range of it. And GZ needs to do a better job of not chasing and using yeah, he's his trying to kill. dryads. He's, oh, he almost killed that alchemist, but his army is getting too split up here. Although he's doing a good job with the zoning out he's with the Starfall. He's still 90, yeah. Um, RKK so is doing a good job in this fight. Um, yep. I think Sexy honestly got the worst of it. He didn't really lose much, though. I agree. Um... And I mean, only what what hurt him really just was the charm, because um, he can't revive that unit. Cause well, here we go. GZ's Dark Ranger is very low. Okay, he gets to the well. Um, that panda could be in trouble. He needs to focus that Earth Panda down. Uh, good save there. Well done, RKK. Yeah, RKK played that well. Sexy, I he really should not be fighting here. He's not losing a whole lot. I mean, he's not. You're right. All right, so lost two units there. He's now down to 55, um, and you can only imagine what he's gonna say now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. GC yeah. has played very well. He's made a few poor decisions, but you can't really blame him from uh, what he's seen and what he's scouted. He's made pretty rational decisions. The only yep. critique I have is earlier in the game, he was constantly over 80 supply um, and wasn't getting as much gold as he could have but other than that he's really shown a very strong game here he has and the only thing I'd add to that is the scouting um, he has Potom he should be scouting 24-7 and he's doing a pretty good job of it now however early game he needed to figure out what was going on with the other players and as you said realize that he didn't need to be over 80 um when he went to hit Ugri with 100, that was an excellent move. However, he was over 100 for five minutes, or at 100 for five minutes before that, and he was at 100 while mining off two mines for 20 minutes, probably. Um, that's not something that you want to do. And right. It probably hurts him now because he could have an extra two or three thousand gold, and that's they'd just what I was going to say. About it. Right, because the other players assume that he has more gold, but they, I mean, they're wrong and. And honestly, he should have more gold because of just what you said. This is Mog, by the way, Ugri, and yep, the other and voices. This is Mage. Um, yeah, we should probably get into the habit of doing that a little more often just for people tuning in. Um, but yeah. too late now. <laughs> All right, let's see what... I wonder what Sexy's plan here is. He's running Sexy's up behind... Plan is to chip away at people and then... His alchemist is pretty close to six. Once that hits six, he's going to have a lot more cash flow. Um, both players have chims, and those will grant him probably around yeah. 220, 230 gold after upkeep. Well, it looks like they're going to team GZ down a little more. And I guess it looks like the right decision. I mean, if I were in RKK shoes right now, I would think GZ has gold. And unfortunately, we know he doesn't. <laughs> Double nice charm, charm on that one chip. Charm there. Really good breath of fire by GZ. And I'd agree with what you're saying, except for the fact that it's sexy. Um, if this was a normal human, I think I'd probably have to agree. He does look dead, um, and sexy does play dead well. However, knowing sexy, I would probably keep teaming him yeah. until he was completely dead. I, I agree. And well, unfortunately, Jeezy's be... leading with his chims again, and he just got completely decimated by RKK's hippos. And uh, that this is a great backup really well for RKK. Great backup by RKK. He didn't lose yep. much here. He got a lot of experience, and now Sexy's taking 
the majority of focus fire. Yep, and he's not going to lose that. Unfortunately, the paladin's too she's, strong. She's not chase. However, RKK is now in an in- interesting position because he has looks like twelve hippos, which can't attack anything. Um, so he's got twenty four food of nothing. So he's basically a fifty food army currently. Yeah, and Uger is making a point here that it should be obvious Sexy has gold, and I agree. In his defense, I actually think that RKK knows that Sexy has gold. The way he's playing this, I think he's... Yeah, I agree. Um, he's thinking he has a team with Sexy to get GZ down a little bit, and then he's going to backstab Sexy. I could be wrong, but I think that that's what RKK is thinking right here. I haven't seen him scouting recently. Do you know, does he realize the what buildings Sexy has? Because honestly... He's not in a bad position to be able to beat Sexy just with his heroes and chims. Um, rifles right. are not that strong. And interestingly and enough, heroes, here, Sexy has another expo going up. In the hero arena, Sexy, I mean, Sexy is, doesn't have a Mountain King. So, I mean, in yeah. hero arena, I think RKK has a decent shot as well. Now, Sexy is expanding again. And, w- yeah, one of these guys really needs to scout that with the Priest of the Moon because... If they don't, then Sexy is just going to have a free win here. Yep, and I think that should be RKK. Um, GZ is understandably getting uh, probably a little frustrated and focused on fighting and not getting hit at the wrong time, but RKK knows Sexy well enough, and he should be scouting the entire map. If there are still gold mines left, then somebody's going to Yeah, backstab. Wow. RKK just lost yep. pretty much everything. Yep, and it was a good stab, and RKK actually pulled out of that a lot better than he could have. Um, yeah, I thought he was going to lose chimps. all those chimps. They're all in very deep red. One oh, more shit. breath of here fire right here. Oh, oh, shit. And oh, my gosh. One, two, that's... Uh, yeah, Jeezy really... He needs to realize what's going on. He has a Priest of the Moon. He should Here comes. He should be scale. using it. He reaches it. Yeah, that's a, another point. I mean, all these players know that these gold mines still have a good amount in them. And if you know that, in my opinion, you at, at late game stages like this, you have to always have eyes on those gold mines. If you have a Priest of the Moon, there is no excuse to not always have an owl scouting those gold mines. Yeah, and honestly, and, as Night Elf, there's no excuse not to put a Wisp at all of them as well. Um, right. I mean, you don't need wood at this point, so it's not a big deal if they die. And Cheesy does notice, and this is a huge moment because now he's not going to help Sexy. In fact, he's going to help RKK. Whereas, judging from the chat recently, he thought that RKK was winning. I and agree. It sounded um, like he was going to. That's a good silence. Let's see if he can. Don't lose that triad. There we go. Nice. There we go. Uh, that's that gave Oof. it to him. So this is going to be a problem now. Sexy is going to have the gold from the mining, and he's going to take away the chims. RKK really needs to just back those chimps up. He should not be I was having them say, anywhere near the Alchemist right now. With a level um, 6 Dark Ranger and a level 6 Alchemist, I don't think he should even have these chimps on the field. He should be having them in the corner somewhere where they yep. can't be can't and be stolen. There we go. The Alchemist is still not used Transmute. I'm My shocked. gosh, that Paladin is so low. A nice staff. Two nice staffs there. Um, I'm very confused as to why Sexy is not using Transmute, though. Well, he's going to kill this, and I agree. He's there. Nope, that's not it either. Wow, Good very staff. nice. Well done, RKK. That was some excellent micro right there. And Sexy's clearly following up where he thinks the chimp should be, and RKK has predicted this, which is an excellent move. Unfortunately, Uh-oh. it's not going to save them. Uh-oh. Uh, sexy, I, I'm actually very confused by Sexy's play right now. Um, well, he was silenced, but he should have he was sniped silenced, those but He could have hit them. Um, I mean, the alchemist two hits on. There. All right, still saved one. He needs to get those now, hippos out of the way, otherwise. Interesting. Jeezy is a transmute. Hit. Jeezy's taking out an expansion, and he's going towards RK, uh, not RKK, Sexy's buildings, and this is a huge moment. Sex, uh, RKK. I'm sorry, I'm confusing the players here. RKK just needs to survive a little longer. And buy some more time. GZ is in a great position to still win this game. Yep. Um, 
those mountain giants are not transmutable and they're not charmable. So those could be proved to be very interesting. I mean, his entire army, actually, between the dryads and the mountain giants. Um, the dryads, oh wait, they actually can be charmed, ignore me. But the mountain giants, at least, could play a crucial role because they can pick up trees, and I'm not sure why they're not currently. The siege damage here would go a long way to help. Um, and I'm not sure why he split the panda either because you really want to be using Breath of Fire on these buildings. You don't want yeah, your to split. You want to save that for when it's being focused down. But GZ is doing a very nice job right now of taking out Sexy's building. And maybe it's just because it's late, but he's making the absolutely correct decision here. Um, RKK does not have much to threaten him with. He has one Chim and three heroes. And GZ should be easily able to take those out. Right. Unfortunately, how... I really am having trouble picking up the brown. It looks like Sexy has two more buildings, Arcane Sanctums up there, a town hall at one of his expos, and then these expos. And, and a lumber mill over here. All? And a lumber mill I think over that's there. everything, yeah. So, he, does he not have peasants? Because he has a lot of gold still. He has a gyro over here, but he does not have a peasant, I don't think. Um, he has some tanks. And, and it, ooh, that was a bad TP, I think. I can understand being scared of this, but I would have tried to finish off the buildings before I TP'd. Um, a couple breaths of fire would have done it. And I would give that... The panda still has an Ankh on it. I would give that to the Dark Ranger or the Priestess of the Moon at this point. Um, the panda should not be in trouble of dying between its ultimate and how much HP it has on it. And if you get one of your other two heroes killed, that's really going to hurt you. And as somebody is pinging currently, Cheesy has gotten an expo up. And that's yes. going to really help him if nobody notices. If somebody does notice, that may switch RKK onto teaming him again. Um, right, and Sexy does have that gyro right next. If he sees it, you can be sure that uh, he's going to make it known to RKK. Yeah, however, again, neither Sexy nor RKK seems very interested in scouting right now. Um I'm not sure if RKK is planning on hitting Sexy or GZ at this point. Um, I think he's going to see this and start hitting GZ. I think you're correct. Uh, I don't know how I feel about GZ continuing to focus heroes right now. He's got that oh my gosh, Trace of the moon. vulnerability. All right, good save, Oof, good save. That was close. Um, at this yeah, point, GZ though, needs to be breath of firing his tanks. Yeah. There we go, there's there one, go. and honestly, a Starfall wouldn't go amiss right there. There we go, yep. well done. Um, so assuming that Silence doesn't come in for RKK, which it very well could, depending on how he's feeling. Um, RKK, RKK, I think he just... Did he uh, charm something? No, he just ran in. I think he was going to charm something. He may charm this rifle right now. Um, I'm not sure how RKK feels about hitting GZ versus Sexy, because if he charms something from... GZ, that's a pretty clear declaration that they're going to continue fighting. Um, by not right. charming anything, let's see how he treats this rifleman. All right, so let's go. So RKK is keeping his options open at this point, I think, um, and not pissing off anybody. Something which is interesting to note here. Oh. Sexy scouts Sorry to interrupt you. The I was going to say that GZ... probably going to see the expo. Yeah, he should see it soon. No, he I, moved nope, it back to the gold mine. just auto-attacking. Now, GZ was at 50 supply, and I was going to say that that was a great, great move for him, but he built one Dryad, no, two Dryads, and I think he really should be mining this gold mine at 50. Yep, this is just another question of macro skills. Um, an experienced free-for-all player would know that they should be 50, and they're going to think he's 50. He looks 50. Nobody realizes he looks the 50, giants exactly. food each and are taking up a lot of that. Um Let's see. Sexy is so close to that mine. I. Yeah, and I I want to go back to the point in the game where Sexy was at forty one supply and nine k gold, and he let himself die. I think that that was just such a huge blunder. I said it at the time, and I gotta go back. If he loses this game, he's gonna be kicking himself because the other players, they were all out of gold, and I mean, I don't know. I think that he should have used his gold and defended himself I because now he's in a position where he can't use his gold yeah. so 
And it was a mistake he's made before. Um, it's actually what happened in the finals. He played dead and then ended up DFM, got in his base, and completely wiped him out at one point. And he had to spend the gold on that. He had 4,000 gold and had to use it rebuilding his base as opposed to having a strong army. Right. I can understand not wanting to be teamed. Um, however, at that point in the game, with his heroes and his combinations, he probably could have taken them 2v1 for a while. And it would have given him stronger heroes, and he would have at least died, had the units die when he needed them to die. Um, right, because right now, felt, yeah, he can't fight GZ, as we're seeing right now. I mean, he's risking losing his paladin. Yeah, um, it does have the divine shield now, and he is able to get some gold. However, this could actually prove... Let's see. What uh, he does have a staff on his paladin, so he'll yeah. probably staff that out, or just keep healing it. And I think GZ is. This is a mistake to keep building units at this point. He should have stayed with just his three mountain giants mined at fifty gold. And uh, I mean, mountain giants can't be transmuted or charmed, exactly. assuming they have the upgrade, which I'm pretty positive they do. I would hope they. And do. Uh, <laughs> by building units right now, he's showing his opponents that he's mining. Or if he's not mining, he's got gold. Yep. So um, this is pretty much the opposite of the mistake Sexy made earlier. Uh, exactly. I understand not wanting to get caught with gold at the end and have it die and not being able to use it. However, RKK has a scout on him. He sees that the production buildings are producing units. He probably assumes that Cheesy has a thousand gold or something. Um, and Sexy has just scouted the end of the And RKK is going to take it out in a second. Yep. So this is, unfortunately, this could be a very costly error for GZ and just not having that kind of free-for-all sense. Um, that's good manip with the transmute, though, because that is something that no player wants to deal with. And yeah, I agree. And RKK's got to be thinking pretty hard about it. Um, Sexy does not have very many units that, RK, uh, that RKK could charm. However, all those hippos are things that Sexy can transmute. And I'm not honestly sure why he's carrying them around with him. I think it would be safer to just leave them somewhere. GZ has I, one chim currently, and that can be well, charmed. Well, I think that he's he's keeping it with him because uh, he knows that charm is a is out there, and GZ could charm that chim. If that happens, at least he can kill it with the chims. Okay, hold that thought, because this alchemist is very dangerous right now. Yep. Um... But the paladin is not lacking from mana, and he yeah, does have the scroll on it, worst case. Yeah, he sh definitely shouldn't be losing his heroes. I mean, anytime you have a level 8 paladin, triple human heroes with staves. Nothing should staves. be dying, pretty much. Yeah, you, sh <laughs> you pretty much shouldn't be losing anything. Um, I think GZ is making a mistake by engaging the heroes. I think he should try and go kill all of Sexy's buildings right now. Um, I totally agree. He has to realize that Sexy does not have very many buildings. And I'm honestly not sure why Sexy has not produced another peasant and started trying to rebuild or build another mine. Um, <laughs> that would seem to be the smart thing. And again, it's going back towards him playing dead too easily, I think. Yeah, I I totally agree here. Um, I was going to make a point earlier before he has an action. Sexy's run into this problem a lot where he kind of over-manips, in my opinion. And he, if you remember... I don't remember, I think it was two seasons ago, he went through a spell where he was losing a lot because he w was over manipping. And yep. he had a few games where he lost with a lot of gold. And this could be another case here. Although and this is good for him. Through, I'm not sure why Cheesy TP'd here. Um, yeah, me either. He should have tried to finish that off. But he also went through a period where when he was just starting to play... Um, and he died a lot to getting over team from being too strong and having yeah. his heroes too high. So it's really a fine combination of trying to not play a very manipulative style, which nobody likes to play against, and not always being that guy that's being teamed for being too strong. So it is a tough balance to do, and it's much easier for us to speak about it than it is oh, to course. properly do it. I definitely don't have the balance. <laughs> the only player, in my opinion, that has that balance is Magad Dansky. And uh, obviously, I think he's the best free-for-all player around. So uh, he's, yep. he's mastered it. And 
it is somewhat surprising that more people don't realize how often he manips though um, because he truly does use it a good bit and nobody seems to realize or even get annoyed at him which maybe that's something that other people should study and figure out what type of balance he's doing there um, interestingly enough it does not look like RKK has spotted the tanks over here and those could prove yeah, important for Sexy later on yeah, Sexy's just hoping that they kill each other's buildings and then he can go in with those tanks and hopefully kill before he is killed. At least that's yeah. what I'm thinking is going through his mind. And he does have one more town hall hidden down here, so that could prove yes. to be an interesting uh, end game thing. And I'm somewhat surprised he hasn't started building farms around the map. Um, with how much gold he has, hiding buildings in different places would be a great idea. RKK already has several buildings hidden. Um, right, although that actually... one was just scouted. Yep. Um, and he got one killed by Sexy earlier, actually, I think. Yes. Yeah. And one tank is going to go down here. Oh, maybe not. I don't know why RKK is not killing that. I think that he doesn't want to annoy Sexy. I think he still realizes that he's in a very weak position and probably wants to team GZ down a little bit more. Um... And I believe that Wisp was RKK's that Sexy just took. That, I mean, honestly, something like that could really annoy him. And this may be pretty big play here for... And just like you said, oh, I thought he was going to kill these tanks. I think he should have, honestly. Um, I do too. The closer he can get his Priestess of the Moon to 6, the more damage he can do. I mean... Yeah, I disagree. I think Charm. RKK is focusing a little too hard on GZ and maybe playing a little bit too passively at this point. It also could be because we're two hours into the game, and this is when it becomes a bit of a bore to observe. Um, hopefully we'll have a great ending to make up for it. Right, and it's a tough part of the game to play because one mistake and, you know, you can lose instantly. So That's absolutely true. If RKK really takes lose. one incorrect fight... Let's see uh, if he... Is GZ killing himself? GZ is killing his own tree right now. Well, uh, uh, so much for having an interesting endgame here. He's killing himself. Well, hmm. I'm not sure what is going on here. All right, I think he's just tired and wants to observe the rest of the game. Um, so assuming that he actually does kill himself, RKK has 6-6-5. Six, six, no five. chance to win. You have 8-8-9 eight, eight, heroes and the best army. I don't know what is going on. The best base... I think he's just frustrated, honestly. Um, I think he's frustrated, he's, but yeah. I'm I mean, just to figure out if this can be some extreme form of manip, but I don't think it is. I think he actually is killing himself, is. and Sexy's playing it that way. He's going to kill off RKK. Yeah, he did stop. Jeezy did stop. So I don't right, know. This actually, <laughs> could have been a very yeah. Um, yeah, if this was just a manip. Would expect him then GZ, hats off to you. You are a genius, but you have me dumbfounded. <laughs> I can't believe you did that. And he's saying he can't TP. However, he also doesn't actually have a TP right now, nor the gold to buy one without selling something off. Um, well, so he killed his only problem. tree of ancient, which... A uh, tree of ancient. A uh, tree of eternity. Yeah, and that's... So he'll I think that was a big soon, mistake. But, I mean, trying to think of this from a purely... I honestly don't know if it was Manip. I don't think it hurt him that badly. He didn't have the gold for TP or TP. His heroes aren't in a huge danger of dying. He can still staff stuff. It just won't go to the tree. Um, although he only has one staff to begin with. And everybody and knew where all his buildings were anyway. So I don't see it being a huge problem for him to have killed off his main tree. Um, yeah, no, I, I understand it wasn't a mistake. I just don't know if it was the best decision. I mean... They were, they were observing him killing his own buildings. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know because now he's going to be revealed. So. Yeah, but think about: it. did they actually gain any information? I mean, I guess they learned that he did not have a hidden tree somewhere, um, which is yeah, valuable sure. information. You're right. Now they're going to kill each other's buildings. I mean, maybe GZ is the complete genius. For doing this, it's entirely possible. And if so <laughs> this will be an excellent, excellent game. Um, RKK is pretty much dead. In fact, I see one Ancient of War. Uh, he's and got 
this tree of eternity in the corner here. Oh, okay, I hadn't seen that. Good call. Um, yeah, so this is <laughs> very interesting now. I'm still I was going to say sure he's French. He must... is carrying those hippos around with him, though. Those just seem yeah, like alchemist food to me. I I agree. I he should be like scouting with them or something. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. I mean, if he just sent them cross map all just, the time and stuff. Yeah, just send them in all different directions, and they're gonna reveal. And GZ is on the move now. Um, I think I'm not sure why he's not scouting them. Honestly, that <laughs> <laughs> he'd be in so much better position if he knew. It looks like it may work out for him. Luckily, anyway. Uh, RKK I, does have one more. He could build an Ancient of Wonder, I suppose. Um, yeah, does Sexy's only building this town hall? It's very hard for me to see Brown on the map. Yep, he has a oh, town he's hall building here. one right here. Um, and RKK and is about to be eliminated. He has some buildings right there. So we've got one there. Well, we've got three there. We've got two farms and an altar. Three farms and an altar. We've got a town hall with two tanks down here, which he might have forgotten about. Nope, those are staffed in, so they're healing. And then I see a town hall here. Yeah, I don't see any other buildings. Yep, so one, two, three He's areas. And two of them are town halls, which is important to note. That is, yep. Um, and there's some griffins. He could charm this. Charm it. Charm. Oh. GZ not quick enough, unfortunately. Yeah, you saw the griff. Let's see here. I mean, I think GZ... Did he just save them? They probably were hiding in the corner somewhere. Okay. Alright, so this game is going to be extraordinarily close. It's a question of how much GZ knows and... Well, he doesn't know where Sexy's buildings are, and Sexy has tanks, so... Uh, yeah, it's since gonna GZ's be... buildings are revealed... GZ is moving some, though, and these should not be revealed while they're uprooted, are they? No, they are. They are? Okay. I'm fairly certain that they're revealed while they're uprooted. I'm actually not certain, so we'll go with well, they we'll probably are. Check uh, the replay. Found the Ancient of War, so we'll see. They are. Okay, we've got confirmation that they are revealed while uprooted. Um, in fact, I think that it shows the vision on the map, right not just uh, revealed in the traditional sense. RKK has now been eliminated, and it's just going to be a base race here. GZ is not going for buildings though he's going for units that, he's taking these tanks out in the corner I'm not really sure if GZ has just given up or doesn't understand the idea of a base race um, and I'm not even sure if he's entirely uh, he did well, find <laughs> one more farm down here that helps but he may or may not realize that being revealed will show him uh, he's attacking hippos this is definitely a mistake here he should be scouting he should honestly have his unit split up. He could send the heroes to different areas. Um, and yeah, he need. He should well, he at least needs to hippos. send. He at least needs to send his uh, panda back to defend his buildings. Yep. Um, oh, and Although this could be good. Take a go griff. The hero. Charm. 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 Take a griff. Please take and a griff. Mountain giant. All right, good mountain giant. Yeah. Cheesy definitely has some areas that he could improve upon. Um, he has played extraordinarily well for the most part, but there are common mistakes here that you don't often see from the best of the players. No. Like the fact I that he just still has not believe Griffs. And unfortunately, in fact, this Dark Ranger is close to death here. Yeah, oh my goodness! He did. It is in his defense. It's about 5 a.m. where he's living, and this game's been going on for quite a while. <laughs> but uh, and he's at least made it a little more interesting towards the end. Um, and that's the problem with having your only staff on the panda is when it's split up, you aren't going to be able to yeah, staff any of them. Um, but I think GZ has, I think GZ checked out a little while ago. Um, I, I think so too. Understandably. I can't blame him. He's playing with people who play a good deal more than he does. And it's 5am as he pointed out. But it, it is disappointing. I think that GZ really underestimated himself here. He was... He counted in himself position. in a position where he was weakest, when in reality he was in the best position to win, exactly. in my opinion. Um, and he's got a scout going towards one of Sexy's he buildings could right now. Uh, Let's see if he 
gets his panda. And Sexy is now bringing uh, in his Sexy's typing and not noticing this. The paladin is gone. Where is it? He should be able... There it is. Oh, if he had Breath of Fire, that would have been dead. Yep. Um, if only, if only. <laughs> what does he got? Now he's getting cocky. Yeah, it's comments like those that can be obnoxious at times. Um... In the end, it looks like Sexy is going to win this here. I, it was a very interesting game. Uh, definitely mistakes here and there. I think Sexy could have won this about two hours ago, and I also think GZ could have won if he had played this end game a little differently. But ultimately, yeah. a very good showing for him. I was I was surprised. I've never seen him play before, so I've played against uh, he him did before, show some and good play. I underestimated him when I played. Um, I think I ended up just fighting it out with him and we both end up losing because of it but he's definitely got some talent and if he keeps playing with players of this caliber I think a lot of the stuff is just stuff that he'll pick up about the macro tips free for all sense the fact that sexy always has gold and you should never believe him um, right right and interestingly enough he's killing one of the town halls now if he somehow knows about the one down here I believe that's his last building isn't it uh but he's no, got he an one more war. here with the zeppelin Oh, that one peasant's sexy. gonna help him. Yeah. No, he's got town hall here. Yep. Ah. And GG. Well, that's the game. Um. I well, GG gets eleven enjoyed. points. Congratulations. GZ would get eleven points. If this was an official <laughs> FML game. He did play well. Um, hats off to him, and hats off for staying up this late to actually finish out the game. I know if I was in that position, I probably would have said, "Screw you guys, I'm out of here." Yeah, a frustrating loss for him, but. Definitely, you know, he's played well. Uh, a few a few things he could improve on. I mean, as you see in the score screen, if you're still in it, Jeezy almost lost 40,000 gold to upkeep, which no is 20,000 more to the next yeah, player. Yeah, that's definitely good to know, and that definitely hurt him a lot. Um, so maybe he'll watch our commentary and even pick up a thing or two, and if we don't make him any worse, I think we've accomplished our goals for the day. <laughs> I think you're right. Uh, All right. Well, I'm going to bed okay. soon. This is Mage signing out. All right, and this is Mog. We'll see you next time.